so John, uh, where are you headed off to today? I know it's pretty early. Well, it's 6 a.m. I'm getting on my flight to France um, to the first conference on the evolution and development of the universe, uh, Evo Devil Universe in Paris, France. I'm very excited about it. This is a culmination of a uh, five, ten year investigation for me into issues of evolution and development looked at at the scale of the universe. Um, and we all know what evolution is, and we all know what development is in a biological organism. They're two very different things. And the question is, if, is the universe itself doing both of those things, both evolving and developing? And things like accelerating change are not evolutionary. If you see change going faster and faster every year, that doesn't evolution doesn't do that, but development does. Uh, development will accelerate um, when you um, create a new uh, baby, for example. Uh, you biologically go through a series of positive feedback loops. Uh, the sexual cycle, the reproductive cycle, is clear acceleration in development. And various scholars are wondering if this development that we're seeing this, or sorry, this acceleration that we're seeing, the faster and faster emergence of complex structures in the universe is some kind of developmental thing that's kind of built into the universe. Uh, things like scale invariance, um, or the fractal nature of things, the self-similar nature of things at multiple scales in the universe uh, is another thing that uh, scholars are investigating. Yeah, that doesn't look evolutionary, that looks developmental. So there's a number of things that really have a lot of um, impact on human beings if they exist um, that might be developmental. The most obvious one, of course, is uh, if acceleration continues in the technology space, then we're going to see increased intelligence, uh, perhaps increased interdependence in, in our technological structures and uh, what some uh, scholars call a post-biological life form on, on this planet relatively soon, uh, and relatively soon in cosmic times. Uh, it might still take hundreds, maybe even thousands of years. Um, on the other hand, if the acceleration vector is fast enough, it might actually happen this uh, century. So we're opening the debate on these kinds of things at the scholarly level, and I'm very excited about it. And we expect to have several of these conferences. And if you're interested in this topic, uh, come to evodevouniverse.com. We have a listserv you can join. And, uh, Love to hear from you. Awesome. Have a great flight and an even better conference. Thanks, buddy.